Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you a 16 segment display. Uh, yesterday I was working, not working, I was looking on YouTube for a 16 segment display tutorial, but I couldn't find one. All I found were like two or three and they were just showcases. So today I'm going to be showing you how to make one. Yeah, as you can see, I have everyone turned on. If you turn them all off, you could see that uh, they're slowly being turned off. And there you go. There's nothing on the screen. And yeah, let's get into it. Alright, so now to get started, you're just going to want to start off with display. And these are going to be like the individual segments that we're going to be powering. So we're going to start with these uh, diagonal ones because they are the most trickiest to do out of all of them. So to start, you're just going to bring them back like this. And then you're going to put a torch on all of these. And then now we have this being powered but we don't have a way to like power it with one line so to do this we're gonna have our input this is gonna be our input with a torch and then wait I just put this on the wrong side uh, just do the same thing but on the other side you're gonna have a torch and then a dust so that it powers this as well as powering this and now we could still use this torch to put a dust here and power this so now we see if we power this it should be working now we're gonna work on these top ones this top one so we can't have them here or a because this dust is here and we can't put a repeater like that and B because since there's a torch here if we try to put a block here, when this torch turns on, it's going to power this block and then power this part of the display. So to get around this, we just put that there, then a block, and then torches. And then you could have your dust to power the torches, and then your input is going to be inverted because these are going to be on by default. So you could just put a torch there, and your input should be right here like that so now we're just gonna do this but on the other side so let's start with this bring this back one put torches put dust and then put an input block with the block now this is another input done and then this same thing bring it back torches dust on top and uh, uh, inverted sorry and then we have four inputs right there now let's worry about this one so a normal six I mean seven segment display you would take torches like this you put a torch here not there here torch there and then a torch here but in this case we can't do that because there's this torch which is gonna power these two so to get around this we just break this meaning that these are now two individual segments so that so now we have to just power them at the same time so this is gonna power the top side uh, this should be a repeater because this lever is gonna interfere with this black so this is gonna power the top side this is gonna power the bottom side Peter and then that put a slab here so that you could power it like this but it's gonna be inverted because this is on by default so just put a lever I mean a torch and then a lever and this we have to replace we have to move these inputs back one so that they don't interfere with the dust just put a uh, repeater there and your input could be like this 
that should work just fine all right now let's work on these sides so this side is just the same thing as the middle you're just gonna bring it back but don't put a torch here just put a torch uh, right there and then power it individually repeater repeater this slab and then that and then invert it because it's on by default and then there you go and we're just going to do the same thing on this side like this input inputs and then repeater repeater slab and then there we go all right so now we have most of the top part done we have to worry about these middle ones so you can't power you can't put like you, crap i just blocked myself in you can't have this because you see if we were to put repeaters or some kind of uh, powering it from behind if we try to go work on this then it would cause issues so we're just gonna bring this back one we're basically just doing what we did up there and we're just moving it down here so we just put our three torches and you can't power it from the top so you just power it from behind Actually use target blocks because there's going to be a reason uh, shortly that you're going to need to use target blocks instead. So you just put this here and then there we go. This is going to be an input but has to be inverted. Just put a torch and there you go. Now just do the same thing on this side. Torches and then dust to power it. And then torch there and there we go so now we have all of that the bottom side is basically just the same thing except for the bottom two the bottom two are the easiest because they can just be you could just take them and then power them with repeaters since there's nothing below it so just do that and then there you go they don't have to be inverted or anything because there's no redstone torches involved so this is going to be the inputs and then there you go now let's go work on these so just do this and then have your input block right here torch block that's that's that that's that okay now this should work let's just test it yup it works now we are going to do the same thing on this side bring the back one crap um what did i just do oh i broke that Okay, so just put your torches, your inputs, and then a lever to power it. I'm so dumb, I forgot to put this dust in that dust. Now, if you should power it, it should work just fine. Now, this side is easy, it's just the same things as what we did up there. In fact, you can uh, just put a torch there because there's no dust here that interferes. But you see, if you power it like this, it's not synchronized. So I'm, you don't have to, but I'm just going to do the same thing that I did up there so that it's synchronized. It looks better. So just put your repeater, repeater, slab, and then that. And then same thing goes for the other side. Torch. Wait. I did something wrong. Wait. 
This side I did backwards. I'm... Wait, did I do it backwards? No, I didn't do it backwards. Crap. What did I just do? No, I didn't do backwards. I just put the input block on the wrong side. I'm silly. Okay. Yes. So we do indeed have to do it like this. It's not a choice. Okay, so just do input, input, Peter to power the input, and then put your slab, block, and then there you go. You're gonna have to, you're gonna, probably gonna wanna move this back, like, one more, so that doesn't interfere with anything. You could just power it like this. Move this one. I just broke it. that and then that that and then there you go torch to invert this and then torch to invert this so now we should just have one last segment to do which is this one i'm probably gonna have something to fix but let's just do this first um, and then have your repeaters, like this, slab, block, and then there's your input, you have to invert it, like this. So now, we should be done, let me just go and flick every lever, just to test, to see that we are working fine. I'm probably going to forget to turn one on, but... Alright, these bottom ones are not on. Now, let's go see if it works. Did I miss one? Wait. Something is... Why is this one getting... Oh yeah, I'm, I'm dumb. Uh, these are going to have to be moved to off one. Now, it should be working. There is your 16 segment display. So, I hope you enjoyed it. Probably one of the few tutorials you're going to find for a 16 segment display on YouTube. So, I'll see you next time. Bye.